Okay, KO battles on screen were fun and all, but what about the battles behind the scenes? When we're talking about some of the most iconic animated villains of all time, you got guys like Scar, Dio, and of course, the Standards and Practices Department. No, I, I, ain't, I ain't talking about that freak, alright? He's not here, is he? They exist for a good reason, to make sure something is appropriate for TV, and to approve or deny certain jokes. The only problem is that their actions are weird, to say the least. Creators like Alex Hirsch have been public about their problems with the department, and the truth is that making a cartoon with these restrictions is not easy. When it comes to Cartoon Network's okay, KO, let's be heroes, there are jokes that never had the chance to appear because they weren't allowed. However, a little creativity can go a long way. These restrictions allow for the crew to play around with certain ideas, and sometimes enhance their jokes. This is a side of animation that we don't get to hear about much, but Ian JQ has come forward with a few few stories about his show. OKKO okay, had so many weird SNP calls. Here's one. You're not supposed to show kids interact with fire, but we were allowed if it was magical fire. We colored it green, so it's magical and now safe for any age. Yeah, sure. This is magical fire. I see nothing wrong. Riding on the hood of a moving vehicle, super dangerous, and something the kids at home could imitate. Big no-no. But what if there was a seatbelt on the hood? This flew through with no notes. If you look at this picture without context, it makes no sense. Has anyone ever seen a car with a seatbelt on the front? Probably not. But what about cartoons? You can do anything. I never realized that this was a result of avoiding censorship, but that kind of makes everything a lot better. In OKKO's OK Halloween episode, while running from zombies, Rad keeps keeps tripping and twisting his ankles to the point that a bone pops out. SNP was actually cool about this. They told us it was allowed as long as we never do anything like this in the entire series ever again. Well, this is terrifying, but SNP allowed it. Perhaps I have treated you too harshly. At the end of the day, standards and practices is a necessary component to bless our eyes with some good ol' animation. They may seem like the ultimate evil that puts an end to top tier jokes, but think about it like this. The ironic thing is that more often than not, their potential censorship leads to better jokes than the original ones, which makes it turn out great. It's sort of like a mutually beneficial relationship where crew members need to think outside the box to fall within the boundaries of what's considered appropriate. Can we really complain about that? But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.